Hello, welcome to lesson 2.5 where today we'll be solving equations that involve the distributive property and have variables on both sides of the equations. We'll start today's lesson with a couple of equations to kind of review what we've been doing in the last few days. Uh, just kind of remind each other what it is we're looking for and what we're trying to do here with just some more basic ones. We're going to start with 3x plus 4 equals 19. Here we have 3 times x plus 4 equals 19. We have two different operations. We have multiplication and we have addition. What we want to do is start by uh, undoing the, the addition by subtracting 4. And we'll do that to both sides. When we subtract the 4 from this side, we get 3x. When we subtract the 4 from the right side, we get 15. So now we have 3x equals 15. We have one more operation, just the multiplication. We're going to undo that one by dividing by 3. So we'll take both sides and divide by 3. This side will cancel out and give us x equals this side 15 over 3 which is 5. So we get x equals 5. Now do take a minute, you should always take a minute to check, just a quick check. All you gotta do is take this 5, plug it back into the equation. So you have 3 times 5 plus 4 equals 19. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4 equals 19, and you can tell by now that 15 plus 14 is 19, which does equal 19. You can check it, you know you've done it correctly. You should always go back and check it just to, to make sure that you've done it right and got the correct answer. Our second example is going to involve some variables on both sides, and we'll talk about that for a little bit as well. Let's start by, let's go ahead and put our line here so we can keep it straight. We have negative 5x plus 18 equals 7x minus 6. Now in order to solve that, you got to get your variables together. So a little rule to remember, variables to the left, numbers to the right. So let's take this 7x, and we need to take it over to the left side. Now in order to do that, we're going to subtract it, because it's positive there. So we'll go over here, we'll go ahead and subtract our 7x as well. Now that cancels, so we're good. And here we have negative 5 minus 7, which gives us negative 12x. We also have our numbers, we want to get them all to the right. So let's take our 18 and take it to the right. Now this is a plus 18, so we're going to undo that by subtracting it. So we'll subtract the 18, which cancels it, and over here we have negative 6 minus 18, which is going to give us negative 24. So now, we've combined all of our like terms, we have negative 12x equals negative 24. If we have multiplication, we're going to undo that by dividing by negative 12 on both sides. The negative 12 and negative 12 uh, will cancel, leaving us x equals negative 24 divided by negative 12, which is 2. And again, let's take a minute to check it. We'll have negative 5 times 2 plus 18 equals 7 times 2 minus 6. We can start working that out. Uh, this is going to be negative 10 plus 18 equals uh, 14 minus 6, and you can already see negative 10 plus 18 is 8. 14 minus 6 is 8. We've checked it. We've done it correctly. Our next example would be the first one where we actually distribute. Here we have 3 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 30. We'll start by simplifying this. When we distribute, we get 3x plus 12 equals 30. Now let's go ahead and make our line down. We have 3x plus 12 equals 30, so we have addition. We want to undo the addition by subtracting 12, which will give us 3x on the left equals 30 minus 12, which is 18. So now we have only one operation, multiplication. We undo that by dividing by 3, which gives us x equals 6. Now we can take a moment to come over here and, and check it. That will give us 3 times 6 plus 4 equals 30. 6 plus 4 is 10, so we have 3 times 10 equals 30, and that is correct. So we've checked it. We've done a good job. All right, this next uh, example is my favorite kind, 
a real extensive kind with all kinds of things to do. You notice here we have distribution, we have more distribution, and we have variables on both sides. So we have a lot of work to do. We just take it one thing at a time and we'll be okay. We'll start by distributing here. 4 times 2 is going to give us 8. 4 times negative 5 gives us negative 20. Move to this one. Now remember, this negative here is like having a negative 1. We can multiply negative 1 by each of these, or we can just take whatever's inside and flip the sign. So x becomes negative x, and 4 becomes minus 4, negative 4. And we have equals 3x plus 4. Let's go ahead and make our line. All right, let's simplify what we have on the left side first. 8x minus x is 7x, and negative 20 minus 4 is negative 24. So now we can simplify that even more to, to 3x, or 7x minus 24 equals 3x plus 4. Now we get to the steps that we've been talking about already. Variables to the left, take this 3x, take it over there by subtracting it. And 7x minus 3x will give us 4x. We'll take this negative 24, we'll take to the other side by adding it. giving us 28. So now we have 4x equals 28. One operation, multiplication. We simplify that by undoing the multiplication by dividing. And that will cancel, leaving us x equals 7. So even though we started off with this really big, look complex looking equation, as you can see, the steps were very difficult and it was actually a very simple answer found in just about four or five steps. But once again, Let's take a minute to check it. This is going to be 4 times 2 times 7 minus 5 minus 7 plus 4 equals 3 times 7 plus 4. Okay, that's 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 4 times 9 is 36 minus 7 plus 4, which is 11. Over here we have 21 plus 4. 36 minus 11 is 25. 21 plus 4 is 25. It is correct. We've done what we needed to do. We found the solution. x equals 7. Our final ex uh, example will be this application. We have a rectangle here. Our sides are 3x and 5x plus 4. We know that the perimeter of the rectangle below is 56 inches. So now we're going to find the length of each side. Now we know from previous knowledge that our, the way we find perimeter is we take the length and multiply it by 2. We take the width and multiply it by 2, then add them together to get our perimeter. So in this case, we're going to have 2 times 3x plus 2 times 5x plus 4. We're taking each, we're taking this as the length, this as the width. Adding, or multiplying by 2, adding together, to give us our total of 56. So now we'll go ahead and solve, which we know how to do. We'll simplify. This will give us 6x. This will give us 10x plus 8, still totaling 56. Now we simplify this side to give us 16x plus 8. Now we'll start solving. We're going to subtract 8 because that will undo the addition, giving us 16x equals 48. We have multiplication here, which we'll undo by dividing, giving us x equals 3. Let's go ahead and check now. If x equals 3, that would make this 3 times 3, which is 9. And again, if x were 3, this would make this 5 times 3, which is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. That would tell us that our length is 9 inches, our width is 19. We still need to check, so let's do that real quick. We would have 9 plus 9, which is 18. We would have 19 plus 19, which is 38. And then 18 and 38 equals 56, and that's what we're going for. So that tells us that the length is 9 inches, the width is 19 inches. Well, that brings us to the end of our lesson. I hope it kind of shed some light on what we're doing here and how to, how to go about solving these equations. Remember, anytime you're faced with an equation to solve, just take a look at it. Just start simplifying as much as you can. Distribute, bring your variables to, to, to the left, numbers to the right, 
and uh, you can break it down and end up doing just a few steps and you can solve anything. For now though, make sure you take a moment to write down your question of the day. Also, on your own questions, you have a few of those. Go ahead, practice them if you have trouble. Go back and watch the video, but check them out. Just keep trying. Uh, always remember to undo the operations that you see and you'll end up with a solution. And always go back and check your answers. It doesn't take but a second to check your answers. Until then, have a nice day.